I just wanted to run a, at least a marathon every day. And that's 42? 42K, yeah. I ended up doing about an average of 46K a day. So all together, I ran 71 marathons in 66 days to get to London. And then I thought I'll have another two to get down to Worthing and have a little party. Do you know what I mean? So I did 73 marathons in 68 days in total. Am I right in saying that you used to be overweight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, big time, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to what degree are we talking? So, so when I was at this stage where I was working a lot of jobs, I was in uh, college, like uh, everything else in my life had to take the back burner. So like I did all this sport and stuff and as a kid and I was decent, right? Um, but my only real focus at this time was just like keeping my head above water. Um, so I was, I was in like a real grind that that lasted for a while and I developed a really like uh a really negative way of living and it and it honestly lasted for years like um probably like three years or something and um I was in a club one day in Brighton and uh I'd, I'd, I was it was late and I was off my nut and I just had enough and I thought right fuck it I'm I'm running home from Brighton it's about 12 miles or something and I hadn't run in years and I was like and I legged it all the way home at like four in the morning or something yeah and 12 uh, miles yeah something like that yeah after that my mate texted me and said like mate you should come and run brighton half marathon with me i think it'd be really like good for you like get some training and stuff and i was like at first i'm looking i'm going oh mate shut up johnny but yeah. then i was like oh go on then like all right i'll do it started doing a bit of training for that ran it uh, and then six weeks later there was the full marathon and he was doing that as well i went oh go on then. I'll, I'll get involved so I've done the full marathon and like through the process of uh doing all this running it had, like I'd, I'd gained so much from it in terms of like motivation discipline confidence all these things um and then i started applying that to other areas of my life and i was i was just train train I, I loved running now so i was carried on training loads um and then yeah basically i managed to save up a bit of money and then um carried on running marathons and then within about I gave myself like a couple of weeks notice and I went, fuck it, I'm off traveling. Like dropped everything. I just went, right, I'm off. It's peace out. And wow. Uh, yeah, went Europe, Africa, Asia, ran out of money, went to Australia because I had a few mates in Australia. So I had a, a, a sofa to sleep on and got a job and all this. Um, then managed to gather a few little coins together. And then I went, right. I'm going to go back home, but I'm going to run via Asia. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do these thoughts come into your mind? Uh, what, what the, like the you're in Australia and you're going, yeah. oh, it's time to go home. There is a flight, yeah. but I could, I could stop in Asia and then run the rest. Well, the spark for that really was I was in Kenya and I was doing, I was doing this high altitude training uh, in a little village called Ayaten, which is where if you look it up, like all loads of the top, uh, long long distance uh, runners are from there because it's a high altitude. There's less less oxygen in the air, um, so they're they're used to running with low oxygen, and then they come down to sea level and they're fucking. What racket. is this place called? It's called I ten. Don't know if you've ever heard of Kipchoge. Yeah, yeah. Kipchoge's from there. I met Kipchoge when I was there. Did you? Running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really small guy actually. But I this is right. mad. Yeah. How long were you out there for in total? Like I was in Kenya for about five five weeks or so. Five, oh, okay. Weeks. And you're running. Yeah. All you're doing is waking up, running sleeping pretty much yeah uh yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah. get up run go for breakfast gym swimming pool run again sleep i just love that shit you know what i mean go and chat to people like so many people have mad like mad interesting lives like they're so different to what we know over here when you're going on these runs how far do you think you're doing each day did it vary up, um, like? so like the when i realized i was going to do asia to london i was like cool uh, if you're going to do it, you need to train real hard for that shit because, like, essentially your life is on the line, like, depending on how well you're trained. Mm -hmm. um, so I was doing about two, 250 to 300k a week. <laughs> yeah. I did 100k in a month once and thought I was fucking, <laughs> I thought I was Mo Farah, nah, mate. I, bet it's, I mean, everything's relative, innit? You know, if, if 100k in a month is the furthest you've ever gotten, good shit, do you know what I mean? Wow. So you're up in Kenya. You decide you want to run from Asia to London. Mm -hmm. As far as you know, is, had that been done before? No. no. As far as I know, still as it hadn't. 
been done. Where are you at the moment? You're... So I went from Kenya mm-hmm. to Dubai, then I went to Thailand for a bit, and then I went to Australia. Are these running holidays or are they or kind are... of? They're just more like I'm just I'm about. I'm just kind of I'm just trying to see the world. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so I was, I was running while whilst I'm doing all this shit. I'm getting up and running bare every day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you plan your route or do you just run and see where you end uh, up? I just run. I just run. Like It's the best way to explore a city as well. You just go running. You just run about and you just see everything. And then when you get a bit tired, you're like, oh, cool, let's turn back. <laughs> and you go, right, how many far is that? 30k. All right, Sam, that's all right. <laughs> 30k is all right. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, d- did you, pl- you must have planned a route for, all- for the Asia to London. You didn't just run on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> okay, so, uh, well, so, you're just there going, I'm here. No, I need so, to get there. So, basically, right, uh, I went onto Google Maps and I typed in London. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I typed in London and then I looked at the route that they automatically give you and I went, I'm not. I'm not seeing any reason to not go with this route. Is that the walking <laughs> route? Yeah. How did so that normally comes up with a time frame? Yeah, it said like 25 days or something like that. Wow, and and that's, that's, that's constant. constant. Yeah, yeah. So it's 24 hours of 25 days. Do you know what I mean? So did you have a plan on how long you wanted to do it? Or you just yeah. To... Uh, no, no, no. I just wanted to run a, at least a marathon every day. What? Yeah. And that's 42. 42k. Yeah. I ended up doing about an average of 46k a day. So all together, I ran 71 marathons in 66 days to get to London. And then I thought I'll have another two to get down to Worthing and have a little party. Do you know what I mean? So I did 73 marathons in 68 days in total. Fuck. Yeah. I'm just processing this, <laughs> this kind of information. I love that you completed it, got to London, smashed this world record. Yeah, yeah, yeah No yeah. one's ever done it before. And then you're like, oh, I do need to get home. And rather than going, okay, I deserve to get a train now. You've gone, might as well run back as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper. When you run from, say, London to Worthing, yeah. are you just running along motorways? I try and avoid it if you can. I, I ran a fair bit on motorways and it's dangerous as fuck. Like, got hit a couple times by, like, uh, luckily it was just like wing mirrors that like people would just be coming so close to you, they'd smack you in and be like, oh, fucking hell, that a bit. But um, yeah, it's, motorways aren't advisable. Police will pick you up as well if you if will they careful, yeah what's your first big hurdle where you think i may not be able to do this like what about bodies of water there must be like lakes and stuff like you uh so the the only body of water that you had to cross is the, the english channel and um i tried to get them to let me run through the tunnel they were having none of it so what we did is we put a uh we put a treadmill on the ferry and then just did all the miles on the on the treadmill whilst i was on the ferry how are you getting a treadmill on the ferry uh we literally just emailed them and was like Look, this is what I'm doing. I've made it all day home from London. Like Asia, don't ruin it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. And they're like, yeah, 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 sweet. Get a treadmill on, and uh, we'll get you the tickets for free. And I was like, yeah, legends. Really? Like, yeah. When you're on that treadmill, how do you know how fast to make it go? Are you just going based so, on the previous speed, or is it as long? So as I was it? just, I, I went on the treadmill for as long as the ferry journey was, and then uh, whatever mileage I'd done up until that point, I then went, got into Dover, ran to the nearest gym. And said, look, I, I've got this many miles I need to make up on a treadmill. Okay, like, before yeah, you sound. can carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how many that was that you had to make up? It was something like, uh, it was something like 32k. Right. Something like that, yeah. Light work for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zach was telling me a bit about this. I was, um, obviously, you've done some stuff with Zach Allsop from the Zach and Jay show. Legend. You're good, good friends with him now. Yeah. Um, and, and I saw him the other day, and he was telling me about this this particular trip. And he said that, um, I don't know if it was this trip, but he said that you had to, you, there was a bit where you had to swim. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So when I got into Istanbul, I started on the Asian side, right? But there's this, the, the Bosphorus Strait separates Asia from Europe. And um, there's three bridges, but for some daft reason, they don't let any pedestrians across any of the bridges, only cars. So I was looking at it and they're like big motorways. And I was like, fucking hell, I can't really, um, I can't really run down here. So I was like, well, I'm going to have to swim across this straight, <laughs> which isn't, you know, it's not that bad. It's like one kilometre until you realise that it's the busy, one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. And the current is crazy. And also when you factor in that I can barely swim, it's not great. But <laughs> I thought, right, we'll give it a bash. Um, <laughs> I had all my stuff on me as well, right. not waterproof. So I went to a shop, uh, bought a, bought like 10 bin bags, just put it all in bin bags and just sellotaped it up. I was like, oh, hopefully that's kind of waterproof. It's so sweet. 
jumped tight to my leg, jumped in this in this straight. The current was doing a madness. It was dragging me down. I, could, I, I can barely swim as well. So I was like, I was like doggy paddling, just about like keeping myself up front. And it took me about half an hour or whatever, but I've made it. I'm about two thirds of the way over this straight. And then this ferry comes and it, and it, it's like coming and I'm not thinking oh, I can fuck I'm not even sure I can get out of the way of this I just about managed to get out of the way of it I'm thinking oh fuck oh, oh, this is touch and go because this boat's just coming everywhere and they're all looking at me like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah 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 I'm like boys chill I'm, I've got, I'm on a man on a mission right just allow me <laughs> I'm the hardest skier. Yeah. I'm not the worthing <laughs> weasel <laughs> and then after that there is a this speedboat comes and it's got tur- these Turkish blokes on it and they're fucking pissed right <laughs> <laughs> and they're shouting at me in Turkish. And I'm not sure who they are, or what they are, if they're like some like uh, rip, like straight security or they're like some police or sea police or something. I'm just like, look, they come shouting at you and they're like fucking annoyed. And I'm just like, I'm doing this in the water, but I'm doing that and then sinking. So I'm like, boys, like, I'm no threat. I'm sorry, like whatever, whatever. And they're like dragging me onto this boat. And I was like, oh, look, look, boys, I'm like, apologies and that. And then uh, they were like, they were saying some shit. And I was just like, Phew. And then they took me to the uh, other side, and I was like, "All right, cool, we'll go from here." They don't take you to the police station or anything. They nah. just take you to the. They su- just took me to, the, and they were just like, just, and Good. I was like, "Cool, safe, nice one." What would you have done if they took you back to the to the part you started <laughs> at? I mean, I would have had to go again. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to the finish line, which is London. Yeah. Well, kind of the finish line, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. So you get there, you've got your family and friends waiting there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that moment like? Uh. Mate, it was like it's hard to describe because you've got this goal, yeah, and you're you're going to it all the time. Like for two and a half months straight, you're just like need to get, need to get there, need to get there. Then you get there and you're like, what the fuck? Like you've had this huge purpose for like the last two and a half months, and then all of a sudden it kind of just evaporates, and you're like, oh, I've done it. Like, Did you feel a bit sad? Yeah, definitely, mate. Yeah, I was I, I, when I actually finished, I was gutted. Really? Yeah, I was absolutely gutted, mate. Was it quite like disorientating to suddenly not have yeah. to run? And as well, what it is, right, is uh, like you come back. So you, I've been, so you imagine, I've been all around the world. I've done all this run, running from home from Asia. And then you go back and you're exactly in the same position that you, like you're back home. And I was like, I'm like skinning that. And I'm like, fucking hell. Like. You, know I mean? you, you kind of not you're not you've not had that worry yeah yeah, yeah. when you're out and like you just all of all the time in your head 24 7 like the, like you're just survival 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 and then it's like okay done so so what is it once you're back is it like feeling like you haven't achieved anything no it's, because life's the same as it was before no it's not that it's just um it's just like a it was just a weird sense of like you've you've had this huge purpose and then it's gone yeah so you're like what's the point like it's almost like you just fall in love with the process. You don't even you like don't the care goal. About the the end. goal becomes like a oh, but like it's the process of getting there. It's like that's what it's like. The beauty is in the grind. Like the beauty is getting there. It's not really being there. It's just like it's getting there. That's the the, the bit that I'm like yeah. In them sort of moments after you cross the finish line, your mates there and you you run back to Worthing. Yeah. And then you go on a night out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> funny in it <laughs> uh, how was the night out mate i mean i'm in this club right england shirt on that i've like ran home in i've got my hardest geezer flag i'm like i'm two stepping on lots so i'm i'm pissed off like just smelling a beer <laughs> battered i'm just like we're just vibing out here do you know what i mean and then it ran home after that, <laughs> yeah. what that 12 miles ago yeah no like, it wasn't quite 12 miles because we was in worthing but yeah were you knackered when you're in the club uh, no, nah, I was hot. I was just half vibes, mate. Yeah, yeah, just like all these people, my mates ain't seen in ages as well. So I was like catching up with everyone. Everyone was asking me loads of questions, and, shit, and I was like, yeah, bro. I, I mean, I mean, I can't even tell you right now because I'm, I'm, my brain's a mash, like mashed potato. I'm absolutely fried. It's mad, isn't it? You go in the cl- in the club, you see these people, these girls that have just like just been at work all week. You know what I mean? <laughs> Working at Boots, they've just gone, and then Russ is there. Where have you just been? Where haven't I been, mate? Yeah. Started the week in Belgium. <laughs> It was raining so much that the clay got so heavy, the the box was caving in and it started filling up with water and we had like electrics and shit, obviously, with the camera and stuff. 